Greetings, future drivers. It's great to be speaking with you today about a very important topic. With the rapid advancement of technology, the electric vehicle market has seen a surge in popularity. One of the most talked about models in the market today is the Aptera. However, as with any product, it is important to evaluate whether it's the right fit for each individual's needs and lifestyle. That being said, we're here today to discuss some of the reasons why the Aptera may not be a suitable option for certain people in the market. We understand the importance of making informed decisions when it comes to purchasing a vehicle, and we want to ensure that you have all the information you need to make the best choice for you. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to receive the latest updates and reviews on electric vehicles. This way, you'll never miss out on important news and information about the electric vehicle market. So, without further ado, let's dive in and start exploring the reasons why the Aptera might not be the right fit for everybody. One of the first things to consider when evaluating the Aptera as a potential vehicle is its seating capacity. With only two seats, it is clear that this car is not designed to accommodate large families. If you're in the market for an electric vehicle and have a big family, the Aptera is not the best fit for your needs. For families, having a car with enough seating capacity is crucial. Whether it's for a family outing, road trip, or just a trip to the grocery store, having the ability to bring everyone along for the ride is essential. With the Aptera only offering two seats, this car simply will not be able to meet the needs of a family who wants to travel together. So, for families looking for an electric vehicle, it's important to keep in mind the limited seating capacity of the Aptera and consider if it will meet your needs. The second reason to consider is the unique design of the Aptera, which is bound to attract attention wherever you go. This vehicle stands out from the crowd with its futuristic and innovative design, making it a true head-turner on the road. However, the striking appearance of the Aptera can also have a downside. If you value a low profile or prefer to blend in with the crowd, this vehicle might not be the best choice for you. Driving an Aptera will most likely result in attracting a lot of attention, and you may even be seen as a time traveler by some onlookers. So, for those who enjoy being at the forefront of cutting-edge technology and are not concerned about drawing attention to themselves, the Aptera could be an excellent choice. However, for those who prefer to fly under the radar, this car may not be the best fit. In conclusion, the unique design of the Aptera is sure to attract attention, and this should be taken into consideration when evaluating whether the vehicle is the right fit for you. With the third reason, it is important to note that Aptera, being a three-wheeled vehicle, may require a motorcycle license to operate depending on where you live. Historically, traditional driver's license have only covered vehicles with four or more wheels, while a motorcycle license was typically required for vehicles with three or fewer wheels. However, with the increasing popularity of three-wheeled vehicles like the Polaris Slingshot, governments are starting to revise their policies and allow drivers to operate some three-wheeled vehicles with a regular driver's license. But it's important to keep in mind that these changes may vary from place to place and may not be applicable in all locations. Therefore, it's crucial to check with your local Department of Motor Vehicles to understand the specific requirements and regulations in your area before purchasing a three-wheeled vehicle like the Aptera. The fourth reason to consider when evaluating the Aptera as a potential electric vehicle is its expected delivery time. If you're in the market for an electric vehicle that you can take on the road immediately, the Aptera might not be the best choice for you. According to the company, it's expected that deliveries of the Aptera will commence in 2023 or 2024, depending on the vehicle configuration you order. 
This is a long wait, especially if you're eager to get behind the wheel of an electric vehicle as soon as possible. It's important to keep in mind that the delivery timeline provided by Aptera is just an estimate and subject to change. With the rapidly evolving electric vehicle market, there's always the possibility of delays, changes in production schedules, or even cancellations of orders. In conclusion, if you're looking for an electric vehicle that you can take to the road in the near future, the Aptera may not be the best choice. With the expected delivery timeline of 2023 or 2024, it's crucial to consider your personal needs and timeline before making a decision on whether this vehicle is right for you. The resale value of Aptera is our fifth reason to consider. The futuristic design of the car is so ultra-modern that it seems to be from a time well ahead of our own. People's reactions to the look of the vehicle are often polarizing. Some appreciate its unique appearance, while others find it strange. This can be partly attributed to the fact that Aptera is relatively unknown in the electric vehicle space, which contributes to the lower demand for the car. The combination of these factors can impact its resale value and must be taken into account when making a purchasing decision. Our sixth reason for considering Aptera is their software. In today's world, software plays a significant role in the decision-making process when purchasing a vehicle. However, one of the concerns is whether it will cater to individuals who are not tech-savvy. The user interface presented by Aptera appears to be user-friendly and easy to navigate. However, only time will tell as the company begins to release their vehicles and the software is put to the test. It will be interesting to see if it can live up to its promises and deliver a seamless and hassle-free experience for all types of users. Our seventh reason for considering Aptera is location. One of the important factors to consider is the location where you live and how it'll affect the performance of the vehicle. Depending on the climate and weather conditions in your area, the effectiveness of the solar panels in regenerating electricity for the vehicle may be impacted. This means that in certain regions, the vehicle may not be able to utilize the solar power to its full potential, leading to a reduced efficiency in terms of electricity regeneration. It is crucial to keep this in mind and determine if the Aptera will be a suitable option for you based on your location and weather conditions. We're going to wrap it up here, future drivers. Do you think we missed anything about reasons why the Aptera should be carefully considered? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive all the latest EV news and reviews. We hope to see you in the next one!